Hey guys, this is Brian from Tokyo Record Style. I just wanted to kick off with a big hello from myself. I did want to take a second to introduce anybody who's coming to this for the first time, what Tokyo Record Style is, who I am, a little bit of context. So hopefully you'll be interested more, maybe follow and share and like and so on. My name is Brian. I'm a 20 year Tokyo resident. I'm from the States. I'm a music lover. I'm a record collector and I'm a photographer. So about a year ago, I started this project where when I see people on the street carrying their record store bag, that I'd approach them and say, hey, did you score some records? Could I take your picture? Didn't really exactly know what I was doing. Took my camera out on the streets. If I spotted somebody with a record store bag, I, I stopped them and I said, are those records? And they, they said suspiciously, yes. Why are you asking? I said, oh, I'm a record collector. I love records too. And I'm a photographer. I'm taking pictures of people with their recent record store purchases. And they say, okay, all right, I'm listening. And I say, I'm writing these little stories about people. So I basically, interview them, ask them what kind of music they like, why records as opposed to streaming music, and ask them about their favorite record stores, and, and basically just make a new friend on the street through our shared love of records and shared love of music. And then I come home and I catalog the actual records that I photograph. I made a little system for myself where I take one photo of them, of them holding the record, and then I take a photo of the record itself, get the info about the record so I can later go find it online. And then I take a picture of their style too, because it is about style. I'm not a particularly stylish guy. I have my taste. I like seeing how people express themselves with their choice of fashion and their choice of accessories. And I think records are kind of like an extension of that in a way. What kind of music you like, what kind of books you like. This says so much about who you are. So it's a really interesting way to keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening and what people are into on the streets. And the other thing that's come to light is that you know, when you listen to Spotify or you listen to Apple Music or you listen to any of these streaming services, when the thing that you you've selected is finished, it just feeds you something that it thinks that you want to listen to. And so you're always listening to algorithm who's paying for their music to be featured on the various platform. And this method of discovering new music, talking to people on the streets is a really cool way to discover new music. And as somebody who loves music from all genres, truly like everything, it takes me so long to go through a record store because I like to look at everything. I like to listen to everything. But it, even if I don't like a particular music, it's interesting to me. And it's probably interesting to you. If you've made it this far already, we're speaking the same language. What I'm finding is that it's kind of like the human algorithm. That's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm listening to. I'm listening to the human music algorithm by meeting people on the streets, finding out what they're listening to, going home, cataloging it, listening it to myself, basically connecting with these people through their records. And a couple other projects that are connected to Tokyo Record Style are Top 5 Records, a live podcast talk show that I'm hosting. We get together once a month. We just pick these kind of random themes and based on the cult classic movie, High Fidelity, we basically count down our top five records on wacky themes. We do a little talk show that's sandwiched by four sets of we bring our favorite records and we come DJ songs for ourselves and for our friends. And another event we're hosting is called Tokyo Record Style Day. We go record shopping with our pals. That's essentially all it is. It's just we pick a day on the calendar. We pick a local record shop, hopefully an independent record store. Go spend a few hours all shopping together. Maybe go get a coffee or a bite to eat afterward. And then I can capture three or four people all at the same time. So yeah, Tokyo Record Style is a photography project. A community is emerging from it. It's an expression of my own thinkings and my own photos and my own own creativity but I just wanted to say I hope you'll come along <laughs> with on this journey with me it feels really exciting I think we're gonna continue to celebrate our love for music and maybe it'll echo out ripple out into the world and maybe it'll become a fun big thing that we can all participate in. I am on Instagram at Tokyo Record Style. I'm here on YouTube and wherever you might be watching this. I'm also at Tokyo.Record.Style. Maybe someday you'll see New York.Record.Style or Amsterdam.Record.Style. Who knows? So go to the webpage and check it out. There's a Patreon. There's an Amazon wishlist. There's a newsletter subscription. It's getting going. Again, I invite you to be a part of this uh, experience. It's going to be really fun and and uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. Next stop, YouTube. Follow on all the other places. Maybe I'll see you out there at the record stores. Bye.